and we're going to use Visual Studio's IDE and we're just going to download the community version. Actually, if you uh, go at our campus, you can actually get the enterprise version. On DreamSpark, you can just go in there and grab it. But right now for this tutorial, I'm just going to do the community version. So that's what I'm clicking here. And it'll take a bit of time. It'll show up like this and I don't want to take the survey. Of course, you can do that if you want to. And then it's going to start downloading. It's going to download a very small file, a small exe file that we can run to actually start working with this setup right here. And there we go. It's only one megabyte, which is not that much. When that file is downloaded, you can double click it and then that will take a bit of time to actually launch this uh, file for us. So let's try and open this guy. Right now, I'm on the Windows machine. I'll show you in the next series how you can actually do this on the Mac as well. So it extracts a few files for us and it actually launches an application, hopefully at some point. There we go. So I want to continue and it starts to give us a minute. This takes a lot of time. I might as well just tell you guys, I'm going to skip this installation when I've done the defaults that we need because it takes a pretty long time to actually install Visual Studio on Windows. So the initialization is done and now you can see this screen looking something like this. Let me just zoom a bit here so you guys can see it properly. Um, it should look something like this where you have workloads, individual components, language packs. I'm just going to stay on workloads and I'm going to scroll to the button right now because we're going to focus on .NET Core cross-platform development with JavaScript, CSS, HTML, ASP.NET Core and the entire .NET Core platform. So we are going to press this guy only and here you can see in the summary we're going to get some .NET Core, some .NET Framework. These might be changed since I made this video but still you need the .NET Core, you need the .NET Framework. We're going to have the ASP.NET web development tools in there as well because we're going to build some kind of REST API, so we need that as well. The analytics tools are going to be there as well. Fine, all dandy. Four gigabytes, good luck with that. Hope you have the, si the room on your machine, but you should. And then I press install and this will take a bit of time, so go and grab some coffee and see you guys when all of this is actually done. So the installation is complete, that took a bit of time, but now you should be able to launch your Visual Studio either by pressing this guy or going into your windows here and writing Visual Studio, it's up here in the recently added. I can just write Visual Studio and now I can actually launch the Visual Studio IDE. So I'll let this, this just start up so you guys can see it actually running and then we will actually work with getting this uh, up and running on the Mac. So now Visual Studio is up and running, yay! See you in the next lesson where we'll start using it, have fun.